can't believe it. We just caught this. Wow! What an look alien. at its tail go. Whoa, look at that! Yes, this is like one of the most bizarre creatures. The world is full of amazing animals, and every year on the Brave Wilderness Channel, we managed to encounter several species that can be considered oddities of the natural world. Many of you have written in and asked Coyote, what is the most bizarre creature you and the crew have come across in 2017? And it's fair to say that there have been many. Take the python millipede, for example, in its alien looking appearance. Or what about the warty sea cucumber with its gnarled looking skin? I don't think any of us will ever forget the sapphire crayfish, a blue crayfish. Now what I want to do now is actually count down the top five most bizarre animals of 2017. So if you guys are ready, let's dive in beneath the ocean surface because the first creature on our list looks as if it came straight out of a science fiction novel. This large sea star is armed with hundreds of razor sharp venom lined spines. So it was a risky maneuver but I managed to use the edge of my GoPro tripod to gently coax it from its hold on the rocks and into our bucket. Success! Wow, look at that animal. Unbelievably bizarre looking. Like a living pincushion. You can really see it losing its shape already. Yeah, they do. Now, the body is very gelatinous, so you'll begin to notice it starts to droop as I'm holding it up and out of the water. Now, these animals can stay out of the water for a significant amount of time, but I am going to have to keep dunking it down so that it keeps its structure. I don't even know what to say about this. It's like the combination of a sea cucumber and a sea urchin, a sea star, an octopus. <laughs> it's like many things all at once. Whew. Talk about one spiky situation. Boy, was I glad to release that one back into the wild. Okay, let's jump into our fourth most bizarre creature of the year. Now, we came across this one in the rainforest of Costa Rica. I couldn't believe what my eyes were seeing. So if you're ready, let's revisit one slippery subterranean amphibian. Mark, Mark, come here. What is it? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What do you got? Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, I can't believe that I just caught this creature. Hold on just a second. Peel back my hand. Look at that. Do you know what that is? Whoa, it looks like a giant earthworm. It is actually an amphibian. And it is called a Sicilian. Let me get it out of the leaves here. Oh, I can't believe that we just caught this. And I bet you the reason that I even saw it was because there's so much water moving through here. Let me see if I can just lay it out on my hands. Wow. That is one of the most bizarre animals you will ever come across in the rainforest. Whoa, it is slippery. Looks fast. Look at that, it just tied itself into a knot. Whoa. And actually this end is the head. Look at that. The skull is very, very rigid and that is what allows these creatures to dig underground. They are fossorial and the body is filled with all these tense tendons and the way that they travel underground is almost like a hydraulic piston. It will drive its head into the soil using all the power from its body and then once it's made some progress, it will then slink its body forward almost like a worm. Wow, it is so strong. It's taking actually quite a bit of strength just to hold it in position like that. And they do have eyes. The eyes are very, very small. Let me see if I can see them but they have eyes, they have nostrils, and they have these little tiny tentacles right up front. Actually, I can see that in the light there. And those are chemical receptors that help this amphibian sense what it is after when it comes to prey. And they feed on little earthworms or termites. Wow, you could literally spend years searching the rainforest and never come across a Sicilian. So for us to find one in the wild was pretty awesome. Now, Costa Rica is known for having an incredibly biodiverse ecosystem, especially when it comes to amphibians. And the number of frog species that they have is incredible. But I think the most impressive frog that we have ever come across certainly is one of the most bizarre. Let's get ready to take a look at the glass frog. Look at that you can see right through the underside of that amphibian. All right, let me 
Oh no, you need it. Oh, where are you going? That's a cool shot. It's really cool. Hold on, I'm gonna bring it back down here. I don't want it to jump off and onto your camera. Okay, I'm gonna get back down here. I'm gonna actually give it a little dip of water here. Since we've got it off the glass, there you go, buddy. All right, here we go, here comes the hop. They're so incredibly lightweight. Oh, there's a great shot of the leg there. Oh, and tucked it back in. And see, when I get the light right up to the leg, you can see right through it. You can see the skeletal structure. You can see the insides. Oh, that's so cool. Coyote, I gotta tell you what I'm seeing here. I'm actually looking at the heart, filling and pumping blood. You can actually see the blood moving in and out of the heart. That is so cool. You can see some of the arteries through there, can't you? Oh yeah. Can you see on the back side of the leg? I can yeah. kind of see some through on, on this you, side. You can see the whole digestive system. You can see all the vascular system. You can see it all. You can see everything. I'll say, I've been witness to some pretty strange things, but nothing was more bizarre than seeing the internal organs of a frog pumping. That definitely deserved the number three spot. Now before we get to number one, we need to revisit a creature we found on the coast of Maine. And this was actually a case of mistaken identity. When I first walked up, I thought it was a turtle moving through the grass. But as it turns out, it was something totally different. I think you guys all remember this episode. Oh, it's a turtle! Oh, no, it's a horseshoe crab! What? Look at this! Is it alive? Oh, it is alive! Look at that! Yes! Wow, Look I thought that was a turtle! Oh my gosh, I just saw the lump. I thought it was a carapace. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna gently lift it up out of the grasses here. Let's see. Oh, it's strong. Look at that. Wow. What an look alien. at its tail going. Here, back up a little bit so I'm not sitting in the water. Whoa, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is a horseshoe crab. What a bizarre looking creature. That may be thinking, Coyote, is that thing going to pinch and bite you like crazy? No, they actually just have a little tiny mouth right in the center, and they have no stinger, no fangs, no teeth. Look at that back tail there. Uh, they've gotten a bad reputation because of this tail. People think that that's venomous. It actually is not. Ow, 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 but the side little spikes there are definitely very, very spiny. Let me see if I can get it to just lay in the palm of my hand. Yeah. Oh, that feels really, really creepy. Now, it's called a horseshoe crab, but it's not actually related to crabs at all. It's more closely related to spiders and scorpions. This is one large arthropod. Now, ooh, wait, ooh, it is pinching me a little bit. They do have these front pedipalps up front that they use to harvest food off of the basin of the ocean. Wow, I'm like so excited right now. Hold on, I gotta compose myself because I did not think we were gonna come across a horseshoe crab out here. Now, if you look straight on, where it gets the name horseshoe crab, let me hold it like that. Looks oh, yeah. just like a horseshoe, right? Totally. And if you look right at the front of the face there, you see these little spots? Those are compound eyes. Actually, this animal has nine eyes in total. The two right here, five light sensing eyes on top of its carapace, and then on the underside, two simple eyes that they actually use to kind of sense their environment. And scientists think that the eyes on the underside are actually just left over from when they were in a larva stage. So wait, those are eyes on the top of that? Yes, and it actually it looks like a face, doesn't it? You see that? I always thought that that was just like a helmet, like a shell protection. Well, the top of this animal is called the carapace, just like a lot of other arthropod species. This is a very dense, very hard exoskeleton. They don't actually have an endoskeleton, you know, bones and cartilage like a human, but on the underside, look at that, looks just like a scorpion or a spider. Whoa. Talk about an animal that looks as if it's from an alien planet. And the best part is that they don't bite or sting. That was a good day for me. All right, Coyote Pack, it's time to dive into the number one most bizarre animal of 2017. So without further ado, let's revisit the coast of Maine. What? Oh. Are they really? Look a lot like earthworms. Do they smell or anything? They smell like mud. They absolutely smell like mud. And like most worms, they'll just kind of stay completely limp in your hand like that. And oh, 
I can feel him moving. They don't seem to move as fast as an earthworm. No. All right, I'm gonna just kind of single out the biggest ones. And you may be wondering to yourselves, oh, it's put out, that one's put out its mouth. Oh, that is a rather big one. Okay. There are one, two, three, four, five really good sized blood worms, but I think the biggest are these two right here in the middle. So we're gonna pare this down. I'm trying to let them get comfortable and expand out. I also wanna see if there's one that's going to perform for us with what we're all waiting to see, which is that weird alien looking head that they shoot out of the think, front of their face. I think face. that one, that one you just This touched. one right that there. That one seems to be the most lively. Yeah, that one also seems to be the, the largest in diameter. All right, we're gonna put these back. Now, one thing that I must note up front, I'm not going to intentionally try to be bitten by this worm, but this is one of the only venomous worm species oh, in the oh, world. Just, there, oh. right there, you see that? You see the head come out? They have a proboscis that they shoot out of the front of their head, which has four fangs. Those fangs are made of copper, and they're like this, right? It's like a grappling hook. Hold up, hold up. Like metal? Like metal, like the element copper. And those- So it has metal teeth. It has metal teeth. Like a Bond villain. Like a Bond villain. You got it, yes. This is like one of the most bizarre creatures. I didn't even know these things existed until we got here to Maine and somebody said, you wanna go looking for blood worms? And sure enough, this is that creature. Blood worming on the coast of Maine. Blood worming even in the rain. Well, there's no question about it. The blood worm definitely captivated audiences in 2017, and it's definitely my vote as the number one most bizarre creature that we encountered. Man, that episode sure was fun to make, being out there in the mud and the rain. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure.